In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to integrate Slack with monday.com. I'll be going over the entire setup process and all of the automations. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up monday.com for your business, check out my website below, we would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to connect Slack to monday.com. So when something happens inside of Monday, you can send a message directly into a particular Slack channel to notify those Slack members. This is an unbelievably useful tool and one that I heavily rely on and implement for a number of my clients. So as you can see here, I am on a to-do workspace and we've got a few basic pieces of information, okay? And what I would like to do is when the status of this particular um, this particular to-do changes to done, I would like to notify a Slack channel. Now there are quite a few good use cases for the notifications inside of Slack. A particular favorite of mine is anytime a deal is closed as one, especially if you're of course using the monday.com system as a CRM system, it then notifies the sales Slack channel. Now the reason is obviously that's motivating that someone's closed a sale and increases the competition amongst the team. Friendly competition is always a good thing. Now in order to set up our Slack integration, all we need to do is go to the automate button in the top right hand corner and go ahead and press create custom automation. Now we can define a number of different triggers. Now if you're not familiar, this, when a status changes, when a date arrives, when a particular person is assigned, uh, when an item is created, all sorts of different, different things can be used as our trigger to notify a Slack channel. Okay. In this particular instance, I'm just going to use the example of when a status changes. Now let's imagine when this status is equal to, and we need to select the status column, done, in other words, i.e. once the sale has been won, we then want to notify our Slack channel. So I'm defining our trigger when status changes to done, and then we need to create our action, which is the then do this part of this automation. So all we need to do is select then do this, go to more options, and you will see at the very top here, we've got Slack notify channel, okay? All you need to do is select this option, we firstly need to define the Slack channel that we are sending this information into. Now, I have already signed into my Slack channel, as you can clearly see here. However, if you have not, you just need to go ahead and press connect account or use account, and then it will take you to the sign up portal where you'd have to agree that Slack and monday.com are allowed to integrate. Uh, it's, once you've done that, it's all set up. There's nothing else you would need to do. It's really, really simple, okay? So I'm just gonna select my account. And then we have this notify button. Now, if you select this, this is actually where we can write in a message or the message that is going to be sent into our Slack channel, okay? So I can write, hi, let's say, hi, sales team, for example. And then what I can do is I can auto-populate the field name. So I can say, I t or what I could say is user name, so that would be myself, has just closed the sale, and then I can add the item name. And then you can add additional information if you would like to. So you've got all of this, all of these different options, project completion, email, whatever, whatever. Um, and as you can see, you can just personalize the message um, at two hearts content, whatever you want to write for your Slack notification. And once you're happy, all you need to do is press the done button. And then finally, we just need to select the channel, okay? So just select out of all of the channel options that you'll have, there'll be a long list. You just need to select which channel you'd like to fire that particular message in when this thing, when the trigger happens, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select my channel. Um, obviously, I can't show you my channels within Slack as it is an active system, but you can see now that you've got, I've just sent it into the general Slack channel just as an example. And if I go ahead and press the create automation button, click away, and then if I change the status to done, that will automatically send in a message into my Slack channel as we've just set up with the message that we've just created. Now I did show you that the trigger can be absolutely anything, but this is a really, really useful and helpful um, automation to set up if you're using Slack and monday.com. Another great example of when you might want to use this is if a task due date has gone over um, and it's, the status is still, let's say, working on it. I'll show you how to do that as well. So if we go to the automate button in the top right hand corner and add new automation, what we want to do is when date arrives, we want to select this option and then we want to go ahead and select two days or let's say, yeah, let's say two days 
after date has arrived at 10 a.m. And then we just need to select the date column, which is the project completion date. And then what we wanna do is create an and, so two days after project completion and, only if status, and then we select our status column, is not done, okay? So what we're saying is two days after project completion date arrives and only if status is not done. So saying the, the project's late, essentially, we're late on the thing. Then we send a Slack message, okay? And then we go to more options and then we can select, again, the Slack notify channel, assign our Slack uh, channel or our Slack account right in the notification. So I'm just gonna quickly write, this task is overdue exclamation mark exclamation mark and then i can add the let's say the item name for example so people know what i'm referring to and then again go ahead and select the channel that you'd like to send that message into and then all you need to do is go ahead and press create automation and now we have got that automation to say two days after project completion date and only if the status is not done notified our slack channel again so those are two really good use cases um, for Slack channel integration with monday.com. There are loads more and hopefully you'll find this video of some value. Uh, I'll see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you're now familiar with the setup between Slack and monday.com. You can integrate and use the automations to your heart's content. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.